Um, and just growing up, it's really interesting being a preacher's kid, where you see your parents like, interact with you, like the pastors, but they were always like mom and dad, and then when it came to making our own personal decisions, like, like accepting Christ as our Savior and believing that Jesus is God's Son, that's something we personally had to choose, um, even though my parents always encouraged me. I decided to get baptized because as I started to read more into the Word and have more quality time with God, more sitting and praying with Him, I realized that I wanted to take this step. And there was like, I was nervous about this because I've always been nervous of being a preacher's kid because I felt that a lot of pressure was on me because people have started to make me not perfect, but had high expectations because of who my parents were, and I was afraid to mess up or anything, but I had to realize that this was my commitment and promise to God. I just wanted to take the next step to commit my life to Him. My favorite scripture is Psalms 27 1, which talks about um, being a, or not being afraid because God is on your side. It's like, the Lord is my life, my salvation, of whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is the strength of my life. Um, for what do I have to fear? And growing up, I've always struggled with like, fear and not knowing things. And just knowing, again, that God is always on my side, that is like the biggest mind-blowing thing to me. Because, you know, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow or the next day. Like, but only God knows. So as long as I stay with Him and stay close to Him and continue to try to get closer to Him, then I know I will be all right. So it's just great to know that God is always on my side. Be courageous, be strong, 
do everything in the moment. And this just means so much to me because there are all things that I choose to live by. And that's just really what I feel as a person who loves Jesus, I should live that way.
calls us to do is to be baptized as an adult um, making that decision. So it's really out of obedience that I'm choosing to be baptized. You know, baptism signifies to me a commitment to God, but also that he has a commitment to me as well. So one of my favorite passages of scripture right now comes from the book of Ephesians, um, chapter 6, verses 10 through 18, where it talks about putting on the full armor of God. I studied this with my life group a few semesters ago, and it just reminded me and really encourages me that God has given us the tools that we need to fight against the evil spirits, as well as um, the perseverance to carry on. And this has been very encouraging me through me through some difficult times recently. Um, and so it's a passage that I have found to be really helpful.
you know, from Ghana, Canada, America, and everything. And I just applied to so, so many schools, and I was just trying to see what was going to happen. I didn't get accepted anywhere. And then I said, okay, I mean, do I just move on with my life or keep trusting God? So the next year I said I wasn't going to apply to school, I was just going to wait for the Lord. And I just got a random call from a professor in America saying, hey, do you want to come here and study? And I said, okay, wow. At the same time, I got um, a job offer, which I wasn't even expecting. And I said, wow, that's one of the moments that I mean, I, I really saw the, I mean, the hand of God like, doing stuff in my life. So, I mean, I decided to come here and then, you know, get up and up. Yeah, so I, I was baptized when I was younger, but now that I'm an adult and I understand things better, I want to do the full immersion because even Jesus was our Lord and Savior, I mean, he, that is how he got baptized and we can just go on, you know, start a new page of me with the book. So, yeah, that is pretty much why I, I choose to, you know, do this. My first scripture will be um, Philippians 1.13, and it says, I can do all things with Christ who strengthens. So, I mean, I really love that scripture because, I mean, throughout my life, I mean, my friends may tell me all the time, they're like, why don't you worry about anything? I mean, and I'm like, what's the point of worrying that God doesn't, you know, because he does the worry for us, right? And we have Jesus in us. I mean, there's nothing that, you know, you pray about that you set your mind to that you cannot do. So, yeah, that scripture really, like, you know, it brings a bell in my head all the time. When I face every child, I said, don't worry, Harold, you know, you can still do all things. It doesn't matter what child is right now, just look beyond your challenges and then look up to God and He's going to make a way for you. So like you heard, this is Harold and uh, when it's exciting to hear your story, I know it's just a little glimpse into what Jesus has done to you, but the thing that sticks out to me is His provision. Uh, God's provided for you and the fact that He said you want to be baptized because Jesus is our leader and that was the example He set. So we celebrate with you today. Now, based on your confession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you desire for all your days for Him. It's my joy and honor to now baptize you in the name of the Father, His Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Here 